everyone, it's Jessica, and today I have uh, a BoxyCharm unboxing, and this is for the month of February, so I'm kind of cutting it close on like, it's almost March, but, ugh, so I figure I should film it. Um, so, it always comes in a box like this. It had a pink ribbon on it, but I've already taken it off. So, this is a subscription box that comes once a month, if you choose, you can cancel it any time, and it's $21 a month, and you get five to seven beauty products. Now, what I have been liking about the BoxyCharm boxes is that a lot of times you've already heard of the brands. That sounds really stupid, but sometimes it's nice, like you'll get some drugstore, you'll get some high-end, it's always a really good mix. So I've I've really kind of fallen in love with BoxyCharm, and I feel like each time I get a box, I love it a little bit more. So, and this one was no different. It, they might be the cutest ones, the way they package them. They always have something cute, like this is for Valentine's Day, so it's got a little sweetheart sticker. And of course, it's kind of Valentine's themed, and it goes through what you get in the box and the prices. So, we are going to tabulate this and see if it ends up being worth the $21. It looks like it definitely will be, but we'll look anyway. So, it always looks so cute. <laughs> so, one of the things, the first thing I see are these eyelashes. And this looks like, what brand is it? It's the brand Eyelashy. And it's hand-tied lashes, and the full size is $9, it says. And they look kind of natural. Um, as natural as fake lashes can be, you know what I mean? So, I, now, you guys know I don't really wear lashes, but it's always nice to have a few. But look how adorable. It like It's like a little drawer. It's just so cute. So that is $9 on its own. Now, the next thing I see is a NARS. I almost said lipstick. No, I wish. Uh, nail polish. And the shade is Versailles. Oh my gosh, stop. I just sounded like I was from Indiana, which I am. Versailles. I am so embarrassed. There's a town in Indiana, and it's pronounced, the way that it is just pronounced here is Versailles, actually. And and it's spelled like Versailles, because obviously that's what it's named after. And so now I'm embarrassed that I just said it the Indiana way. Versailles. I'm sorry to everyone that speaks French, or if you're from France. Versailles. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, it's this really pretty kind of like golden-y color. Also, I, I will explain what these stains on my hands are in a second, and you will laugh at me when I tell you what they are. So this nail polish is retails for $19, so 9 and 19 is 28 so far, and so, so far with just those two things, we've already breaking, or we've already saved money because it was a $21 box. So let's keep going, shall we? The next thing is this, we'll do this one, a Mirabella, what is this? An eye definer, and the full size, this is a full size, and it's $19. I think all of these are just full size. So it's $19 originally, and it, oh, it's in bronze. So it's all silvery and purdy. Let's give it a swatcheroo. It's certainly just a, you know, typical bronze color. There's nothing really special about it. But you know what? I will say that I like that it's not shimmery or sparkly or anything. So a lot of times I don't use this dark black under my eye. I'll just use some sort of brownish color. So this would be one I would totally use. And every time I use a shimmery pencil, no matter the brand, I always end up with a little bit of glitter down here. So this is actually going to be really nice to not have any glitter in it. So I'm excited. And it's a solid full size. So that was 28 and this was 19. So that's 30, 47 dollars so far. Is that math right? I don't know. So the next thing is another Mirabella product. And what is this? This is the La La Lips. I think this is one of their new products. I was watching Sam Sherman's video, if you watch her, she's just so cute. And I think she featured a bunch of Mirabella products, and this is one of their new ones. This is the Sweet Velvet Lip Pencil, and it's in the shade, well, I don't know yet. It looks really pretty so far. So it's just a classic, like, crayon type. Ooh, it glides on like crazy smooth. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? And this is, like, really cute. And this is just cute, and it's not as, like, fat as most of the lip pencil type, um, like, you know, I think of the Revlon balm stains and things like that. Those are so thick. This is like really small. Woo. And um, the full size, which this is, I think it's got to be, is $23. So what is that like? Now we're at like $70. This is crazy. And then the last thing is this Pandora's, I've never heard of this brand, Pandora's box. And it's, what is this? Pandora's makeup box. It's a blush, which retails for $18. Whoa, okay, that was adorable. This is what it looks like. It's like paper packaging, kind of like the balm has, you know? And it's in the shade... No, please tell me, this is... It just says pout blush. That's what it says. And I... It looks like you can remove... Yeah, oh, that's actually not a bad thing. You can remove it. Yeah, I think the shade is pout. And it looks like a really light coral colored blush. 
very light. I feel like it could look really pretty and like light on a darker skin person, like it would show up kind of satiny, or if you're really fair like me, it would show up. I, wa I wonder if like mid-tone skin, it really wouldn't show up on, I don't know. I mean, it's nice and pigmented. I don't know, that's really pretty though. And it feels like the, I can't stop swatching it. It feels like the balm blushes, to be honest. It's, that's really, really nice. So I'm actually really excited. So that was five full-size products for like a million dollars. I don't feel like doing the math anymore. <laughs> Um, but I'm, to be honest, I'm impressed. This might be my favorite one yet. I don't know though, because last month was really awesome too. And you guys saw how excited I was in that video because it was just really awesome. It was awesome. So I want to explain the stains on my hands. So I had gotten some referral credits from some of you guys signing up for Birchbox, like with my links below. And so I gotten some referral credits on Birchbox website. Now you can't redeem, redeem, what? Redeem those um, credits for boxes, like monthly boxes, but you can get like full size products. So I was kind of going through and I needed a new detangling spray because I had been using the It's a 10 Miracle spray, but I'm almost out and I'm like scraping it dry and you've got to spray it so it's really tricky. Oh no, the battery's running low. Anyway, so I found this Bain de Terre, I'm probably butchering that. It's their instant combing detangler, and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited, and it was like 13 bucks on there, so it was not bad. So I'll link this below, and the other thing I got was the lipstick that I'm wearing, and I'm sure you guys are like, whoa, Jess, it's the darkest thing you've ever worn on your lips, ever! And that's exactly what I thought when I put it on, but I was like, it's okay, like, I, I don't know that I could wear this out, though, I don't know. But I bought it because, or I got it with the referral credits, because it was my favorite. It's the Besame, or Besame, um, lipsticks that I love and I love the shade exotic pink and every time the past few videos you guys are asking me what I'm wearing It's always that so it comes in an adorable velour little packaging and oh my gosh And it's in this is in the shade cherry red and it's just so much darker than I thought and I looked at swatches online Well, that doesn't look that bad. It looks so much darker on my lips though, doesn't it? Like probably because my lips are semi pigmented on their own not crazy pigmented, but but isn't that gorgeous? So I just love the formula of these, so definitely check it out. You can't really buy this brand in many places. You can get it at, on Birchbox website. Besame has their own website, it's the same price. Um, but I figure you might as well get it on Birchbox, at least I do, because I don't know. I figure you get points, I think, for buying things on there too. I don't know if you do, actually. Don't quote me on that. And by the way, the stains on my hand are from just applying this lipstick and like literally like I got some on my teeth so I was going like this and then I got a little bit there and then I wiped it and then it's stained. I'm like oh my gosh so I can only imagine that the, my lips are going to be stained however not the worst thing if you have a color on that you like and it's kind of stained all day like and just throw some balm and it, over it and it's just like good to go you know so I'll have to let you know because this color is vampy it's kind of fun though right I don't know I just can't decide maybe I should return it I don't know, what do you guys think? I know it's gonna be so Splitsville and, and like half of you guys are gonna be like, I hate it. And half are gonna be like, it's awesome. Or maybe all of you guys are gonna be one way. I don't know. I feel like it's not even even. Although I don't think my lips are even. I am not symmetrical at all. Whew, that's all I'll talk about today. I'll shut up with my crazy dark lips. <laughs> Anyway, but I'll catch you guys very, very soon, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.